Fostering health and well-being is one of the grand challenges of research at the University of Melbourne. One such research project is looking at enhancing well-being for a particular group in the community. Professor Norman Saunders is a professorial fellow in the Department of Pharmacology and Therapeutics. He is also a keen sailor in his spare time, and his research is helping disabled people learn new skills and achieve improved quality of life. The aim of the research is to use real-time sailing simulators to help people with serious disabilities, in this particular case spinal cord injuries, to learn to sail on dry land and then to transfer them onto the water. And the reason for doing that is that it's clear that rehabilitation for people with spinal cord injuries is likely to contribute a lot to their health and welfare and self-esteem. And sailing is particularly good because it's integrative. It's something that the people with disabilities can do with their families and they can also join sailing clubs and that's a very social scene. Marie Elal is a PhD candidate under the supervision of Professor Saunders. She coordinates the trial and is a great support to the participants. It's great to see them learn something new and then transfer that, like, that knowledge then onto water and then they're fully independent. So generally a population that needs help with lots of activities of daily living. A few participants actually always wanted to learn how to sail before their injury but after their injury didn't think that it was something that they'd really pick up. But everyone's pretty enthusiastic and excited, always excited to go out on the water. As scientists, we wanted to run a formal clinical trial. We've got two questions. First of all, can you use the technology to get these people sailing? And if you do get them sailing, can you show measurable improvements in their health and welfare and self-esteem? It's clear from the ones going through, they enjoy it. We've now had three out of the water who thought it was great, and they will continue. So we already got evidence that it works. What we now need to look at is what the benefits are. If we can show that it does indeed provide significant benefit for people with spinal cord injuries, uh, then if other centres take up the technology, they will be able to do the same. I'm interested in extending the research, so using the simulator technology and extending that out to people maybe with other physiological or psychological conditions. For example, people who had a brain injury or stroke, where there will be different problems because of uh, differences in cognitive function. And that'll be more of a challenge, but it could still provide considerable benefit. But there's another aspect relating more directly to the physiotherapy, and that is that once we have a baseline established, we'll be looking at individual aspects of the task of sailing to see whether we can pick some of those out and use them as a formal part of uh, a rehabilitation physiotherapy section. Hopefully it's going to be such an accessible tool that a range of people, um, disabled or not disabled, can use the um, simulator. The research is made possible through collaboration with the Victorian Spinal Cord Service at Royal Talbot Rehabilitation Centre and Docklands Yacht Club. Mm -hmm.